Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and in this video, we are going to be having a look at a truck that could very well be one of the most exciting trucks to ever release for this game in terms of mods. Now, you guys remember the R&R 3500, right? The R&R 2nd Gen. That truck was one of the most widely well-received mods that has ever made its way to either the PC or the consoles. Now, the team at R&R Customs has actually just released something that they've been working on behind behind the scenes for a really, really long time, and that is the r, r Customs Yeti 5500. Now, obviously, what you can see right off the bat is that this is a console-friendly 5th Gen Dodge-based rig, and there are a ton of options, and a lot of modders collaborated on this build, and there is also a companion vehicle to go with this truck that I'm going to be talking about a little bit later, but we are out on the Highway Holland map to test this thing out today, because the Highway Hauling map really does do a great job of bringing a bunch of different surface types and environment types together, and what we're going to do is, like I said before, we're going to build this thing, we're going to grab its companion vehicle, and we're going to do a little bit of driving we're going to do a little bit of testing and we're going to see what this thing would be like to live with in a campaign map scenario and as i film this video it is obviously not yet on consoles but it should have all of the files and all of the coding to make its way through testing with minimal issues so i'll of course keep you guys as updated as i possibly can on how the console release process of this thing is going to go but without any further ado let's go ahead and get right into the customization now right off the bat we are not going into truck storage we are going like i said straight into the customization and your base engine is going to be a 6.4 hemi which is going to give you an a power to weight rating then you can go up to the 6.7 rummins and that's going to give you an s plus and the 6.7 ho rummins is going to give you once again an s plus but just more that's just more of everything so i'm going to go ahead and grab the mid-grade engine for this well Hmm, I don't know. I think for this test, we'll actually do the max engine, and then later on, when we're doing a little bit more roleplay with this truck, we'll go with that mid-grade engine. I think that would probably be a better idea for that. So gearbox-wise, you have the 8 HP 75, the 68 RFE, and the AS69 RC. Now, this is basically Risky's tune. This is the Dave tune, uh, Dave's transmission shop, if you will. Now, I'm going to either run this one or the middle one. I'll probably do the middle one because this is kind of going to be your all-purpose, you know, get it all done, do it all with ease kind of setup. And the one on the bottom is going to be a little bit more of your, obviously, your crazy setup, right? So, suspension-wise, this is where it gets really interesting. So, you have the stock Yeti suspension, the Yeti lift kit, the heavy haul setup, and the super lift kit. So, I'm going to go with the heavy haul setup right off the bat because there's also some really, really cool exclusive trailers with this thing that you guys really need to see. So, we're going to go with the heavy hauling setup. And then tires-wise, you've got a tremendous list of tires. Now, obviously, you're going to start off right here with 40-inch uh, Rexy's Nitto Terra Grappler Dualies. And you also have Interco Bogger Dualies. And it just goes up the list from there. You've got Pitbull Rockers. You've got Tractor Tires. You've got TSL Boggers. You've got Super Terras. You've got Creepy Crawlers. You've got Diffuse Tires. You've got Risky Super Swampers, Trepidors, BFG KM3s, BFG, or sorry, BFG KO2s, and then BFG KM3s. I always get those two mixed up when I'm talking about BFG tires. You also have Interco Boggers in a single. You have the Scrambler ATs, and then of course you have Nitto Terra Grapplers in singles as well. So there's a lot you can do here with it. Now you can also go up to a 44, and then basically once you get up to the 44s, the tire list repeats. But one of the really, really cool things that I personally love about this truck is that it also comes with Quasi's mud tires in both single and and dually configuration, and as a lot of you are going to absolutely love, you can also get them in studded configuration, which makes this truck fully apply to any sort of ice and snow campaign scenario, which I think is absolutely tremendous. So it really does make it a properly all-purpose setup, and I think, you know, I think we need more mod trucks that can be applied to a full-on multi-purpose setup. So I think I'm going to go with, oh my gosh, it's literally one of the hardest decisions to make, like, ever, is actually, like, picking a tire setup for this thing. I think for the purpose of this particular test, we're going to go with the Nitto Terra Grappler Dualies. And then, winch-wise, we got the battery-powered winch, so we're good there. And then, frame add-ons is, once again, it gets even more interesting. So you've got CB antenna left, CB antenna right, 
custom flatbed, which is really, really cool. You can actually see the suspension mounting points in the flatbed itself. And then you've also got the R&R &R gooseneck hitch, which we're absolutely going to do. Got the pintail hitch, which we're going to install that as well. And then the snowboard in the bed. This is where the add-ons start getting so freaking cool. Now, that obviously follows the theme of the truck being named the Yeti. And the snowboard literally has this custom Yeti graphic on it, which I think is so freaking cool. You also have a bed toolbox, which is, once again, it's not necessarily going to have a wild amount of, you know, uh, aftermarket parts and stuff like that in it. But it does have 750 repair points. It has uh, two spare wheels and 32 gallons of fuel so we're gonna go ahead and throw that in there and exhaust wise you've got an axle dump which is a little bit more of like kind of a standard issue like bumper exhaust and then you have both curved and slanted and straight stacks in chrome and matte which i think is really really cool so we're gonna actually go with the probably the axle dump actually and then rear bumper wise you got a risky plate or an r, &R plate and those are completely up to your own personal preference. And then rooftop-wise, you have a headache rack, which I think is super freaking cool. You've also got a ladder rack, which you can then put many, many things on top of. You can put a ladder in the middle, put a ladder on the left, you can put a ladder on the right. You can put some snowboards up top, which once again, it's that same Yeti snowboard graphic. Or you can run the custom UTV rack for the KN Jam, which is actually a segue into the other companion vehicle that goes with this truck. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take the ladder rack out. And let me actually grab that ladder rack and pull it out. And we'll throw the UT Well, actually, no. No, we're not going to do that because we're going to build a second one specifically for that purpose. Now, you have a custom move bumper that you could use in the front, which actually has light bars already in it, which I really, really like. And you can also do the same bumper in black, or you can run the stock bumper, which I also think looks really, really good with this setup. Now, with these wheels, you're only going to be really, you know, running one wheel style, but that's okay. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal, at least in my opinion. Now, one of the things I like a lot about the colors of this truck is that they're all really, really vibrant. They look really good on the body of the truck itself. But what I like even better is the fact that those R&R &R staple uh, custom colors or camo colors are all very well represented here. You can go for pretty much any shade of camo you want. Literally just about any shade you can think of is fully fully available here. So what we're actually going to do though is we're going to skip the camo for now and go with a full-on just red and I'm going to throw beans on the dash and now we're going to leave the garage with this truck. Now let me go ahead and actually skip back to the beginning of the afternoon because I'm, I'm not necessarily interested in testing a truck right off the bat in the middle of the night. So we're going to stop tracking that for now and we're going to fire this thing up and show you guys some of the trailers. Now, the trailers are one of the coolest parts of this truck. And don't worry, like I said before, the limited vehicle, well, I shouldn't say the limited vehicle, the companion vehicle will be brought out shortly. So let's bring you over here, and we'll go ahead and grab the trailer that we're going to run. Now, the trailer that we're going to run is literally the most perfect, whoa, all right. Overcooked it just a little bit there. I gotta be a little bit more careful. But the trailer that goes with this thing, or I should say one of the three trailers, is a perfect role play scenario companion. Absolutely perfect role play companion for this thing. It really does have like all the torque in the world. You can just spin it around on pavement like nobody's business. It does it in an instant. All right, let's grab the trailer. Now, there are three really interesting trailers with this truck. First, you have the r, &R Gooseneck Remastered. You then have the r, r Wedge Remastered, which I love the Wedge. The Wedge is great. And then you also have the all-new r, r Customs Toy Hauler. Now, this is a brand new thing, not only for this truck, but for this game entirely. Nobody has really, at least to my knowledge, nobody has really done this before or taken this approach with a truck like this before and modeled in a full, you know, fifth wheel, triple axle toy hauler slash camper. I think it is one of the coolest freaking things that I have ever seen in this game. And not only is it, not only is it fully modeled, but it's also fully functional. It opens right up and you can pack as many vehicles as you want inside that toy hauler. I think that is probably the coolest trailer 
to come into this game as a companion setup in, like, I don't even know how long. Like, it's so freaking crazy. I absolutely, absolutely love it. Absolutely freaking love it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this guy back over here to the garage, and we're going to buy another one, and we're going to grab the rack. Now, the reason why we're going to grab the rack is because we have a very specific vehicle that we're going to actually be able to put on the rack itself. So let's bring you right here. Stop you right there and shut it down. Now, let's grab... Woo, let's go right back into the garage if we can. There we go. That should do it. I said that should do... Oh my god. All right, thank you. So, back into the truck store. And you may have already been able to catch a glimpse of the vehicle I'm talking about, but this guy is going to get a very quick build. Like, when I say a very quick build, I mean, like, a very, very, very quick build. Nothing too crazy, nothing over the top. It's going to be easy to build, and probably going to run the bogger dualies on this one, just to kind of go for that wide look. And, oh, that is the wrong area for that. Like, okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where is it? It's here somewhere. Oh, no. You know what? You know where it is? It's somewhere in the... What in the heck? I know it's in here somewhere. It did not just disappear. I was about to say, like, it did not just disappear. So there's a rear bumper. Rooftop. It's a rooftop add-on. That's what I was looking for. All right. Custom UTV rack. And we're going to make this one, let's say, blue. Blue will work for this, actually. It'll work really well. All right, beans on the dash, and we'll back right out. Now, as you can see, this thing is prime and ready for some, like, four-wheelers or UTVs right up on the back. And we actually have the perfect loading area for it right here. So let's go ahead and back you up real quick. And stop right there. Let me get a little bit closer. That should be close enough. I don't really think we're going to need to go much further back than that. But we're not going to be doing a full build on this other vehicle. We're just going to be uh, doing a quick build to bring it out and show what it can do with the truck itself. There will be a full video later on in the future where we go fully in-depth and do a full test on the vehicle that I'm about to show you guys. And that vehicle is the R&R Customs Can Jam. Now, this is obviously a fully console-friendly Can-Am, and this one's actually a four-seater. So, really, really interesting and very different from any of the side-by-sides we've seen in the past. So let's do the twin turbo setup. You've got one transmission, one suspension option, and three tire options. I dig this one. Generic UTV tire two. And let's see what we've got on the roof. Whoop. Let's see. Body color, black roof. I don't know. We'll we'll probably leave it open, actually. Yeah, I dig it when it's open. And we'll do the white beadlock ring. And I might just... Yeah, I really dig the contrast of the red. I really think it's going to look great in the red. Now let's try to load it up. Now, it should load up super easy. It shouldn't have any issues whatsoever. But let's find out. Oh, that's going to be tight. That's going to be real tight. Oh, not too bad. Dude, that's like literally the perfect length. Like, if this thing was any longer, we would be in trouble. All right. And perfect. Packs no problem, and it is good to go. Holy crap. Look at that setup, though. Look at that freaking setup. Oh, my God. I am absolutely in love with this entire setup here. And really, I cannot thank the team at r, &R enough for allowing me to get my hands on this thing and test it out. I am just so over the moon about this thing. It is absolutely one of the wildest vehicle projects I have ever seen in SnowRunner. And I cannot wait for it to come to consoles, and for all of you guys to be able to try it out as well. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time. And also, make sure to show the r, &R team some love for this thing. They did an awesome job with it. Once again, guys, I will see you in the next one.